Hey, hey, you guys, Stockton here from Better Than Data. In this video, what we're gonna do is take a little bit of a different approach. So let me know if you like this style of strategy type metric breakdown type of video, but we are going to be looking at a metric called Marketing Efficiency Ratio, or MER. So we're gonna break down not only kind of what that is, pretty simple to just say that, but then how would we go about strategizing how to actually get that information and put it inside of a Looker Studio report. So one thing is to talk about it, make it nice and work, but the other thing is to actually make it available in a report. So that is what we are going to do in this video. Uh, let me know if you like this style, what other metrics or type of strategy pieces we can cover. Happy to review those and of course leave, leave a comment. We love to see the comments and we answer, we try and answer every single one of them. So happy to do that. Um, what we have here is if you go to this link, betterthandata.com forward slash mixed, you will see this page right here. So what this is actually like as we are approaching the time when GA4 will be the new de facto only thing you can use for your analytics, you're going to need reporting. Now there's a lot of changes that have happened. There's quota limits and API limits and you know obviously GA4 and there's all these moving pieces and what you can do in Looker Studio, what you can, what you can do with the API, what you can't. So what we've done is we simplified everything to give you a report that is useful, that won't break, that won't hit any limits and uh, you can really have this nice report for your clients set up easy we give you all the instructions all the information you can even see a nice demo uh, button right here if you go and click for that so head to this link you can download this totally free super useful we've gotten really good feedback uh, from people who have used it already and we think it's a really great tool uh, to use if you want to get your ga4 reporting back with no limits and simply so while you're figuring everything else out you can at least have a nice report Okay, so with that said, let's jump over to this and let's go to our little Lucid chart here and start talking about what is MER. So if you just Google this real fast, like you can see some definitions here. So marketing efficiency ratio measures the high level success of your marketing, this is according to Didacity, uh, high level success of your marketing campaigns. It is calculated as total sales revenue divided by total marketing spend. In the same period, it is also known as marketing efficiency rating or blended ROAS. So they have a nice little picture here, which is pretty nice. Total sales revenue over MER. There's lots of other charts and stuff here. Let's see, AMER, which would be like acquisition. So only new customer revenue. That's a take on MER. Oh, here they have this. So total revenue divided by total ad spend gives you MER. Okay, so let's strategize what this means, like how we can actually make this work inside of a report that is useful for our clients. And if I scroll down here, here's like a sample report that you can do. So this is a screenshot from one of our reports for a client inside of Looker Studio. And what we have is everything broken down by week. So one kind of strategy piece is we want all of the information to be aggregated by day, right? So as we're thinking about data collection, we want it to all be by day, but then in Looker Studio, in the actual reporting is where you can change the kind of that visualization. So we're not aggregating by week here, but in Looker Studio, we're changing the date dimension to be a week. So that's how this works. So we have, um, you know, we have a column of revenue. So this has its own data source. We have a column of total spend. We have the actual calculation of marketing efficiency, which if you have these two numbers, it's, you know, that's simply what it is, is revenue divided by total spend. And then we have that calculation. So market efficiency is a calculation. And then we have each one of the uh, individual platforms broken down by spend per day. Now we've applied some conditional kind of formatting here. What we've just said is if it's closer to three, it's green. If it's closer to two, you know, kind of goes to yellow. And if it was below a, a two going down to, to a one, then that would kind of get more red as that's going down. So, um, how do we actually like get to this point? Well, we can see that we have revenue. So we need to have a data source that will give us revenue. And so for that, we would want revenue by day. So we need to have a little data source here. So these are going to be our data sources. Let's come up to this. So we need to have a revenue data source. And the two dimensions for that, well, one dimension, one metric is it's going to be date by day, right? So we want everything to be down by day. And then we're gonna want the actual revenue for that day. So revenue broken down by the day, we have date as the dimension, revenue as the day. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. 
just like that. Okay, so we have one data source that's revenue with date and revenue by date. Let me zoom, zoom this up. So we have this, okay. Then the next piece we need is actually just to have all of the ad spend broken down by day as well. So we have our revenue. We also need to have our, our Facebook ads data broken down by day. So that's gonna be date broken down by, uh, by day and spend. And so this is gonna be the same, like almost the exact table if you can build this for each one of your marketing channels. So Google, Google ads, we need to have a date as the dimension and spend for that day. So we would do that for each one of the, the channels. So whether you have one channel, two channels, five channels, 10 channels, doesn't matter, that is kind of what you want to do. So you can see that the join key or the similar key between all of these is going to be date. So what we wanna do is have um, a blend. So in Looker Studio, like one of the strategy pieces is in Looker Studio, you can only blend, I think I think it's, it's a five, right? I think it's five. So you can only blend five things together in Looker Studio. So what happens then if you have multiple Facebook ad accounts, you have multiple Google ads, you have more than five data sources, then you're going to have to need, you're going to have to blend the data somewhere else, right? Um, I think that's actually the, this case, I think just Facebook ad accounts, they have eight, and then just Google ads accounts, I think they have two, and then the other ad accounts are there. So we had to do the blending somewhere else. We couldn't do the blend directly inside of Looker Studio. For that, we used, I think, Fivetran. So we used Fivetran to get all of the data into BigQuery. So each one of the ad accounts has its own separate table inside of BigQuery. So this would live as its own table in BigQuery for ad account one, ad account two, ad account three, those are separate tables inside of BigQuery. And then we would do first do a join for all of Facebook ads. So we get like a master Facebook ads table that has all of the ad accounts together. Then we would do the same for Google ads. And then inside of BigQuery, we did the join. So We created one separate table that uh, looks at revenue. So because we were already using Fivetran and they're on Shopify, we said, hey, Fivetran, get data from all the ad platforms and Shopify and bring it all in. From there, we did the join and we just left joined everything onto the revenue. So we did left join Facebook ads on the revenue table. The join key is date and then some spend. So same with all of them. Left join Google ads onto the revenue table, some spend to get a total of Google ads spend. Once you have all of those joined, you will produce one, like one output table if you're in BigQuery. Otherwise you have just have the join inside of Looker Studio, which produces a new data source, which is kind of the same, it's one new table. So we have our new table that has date, it has revenue, these are all the metrics, or do, yeah, one dimension metrics, all the rest are metrics. We have our date, we have our revenue, we have FB spend, we have Google spend, we have all the XYZ spends, XYZ spends, that we can then add on additional fields in, directly inside of Looker Studio. So then we can do calculated fields to say, oops, Oh my gosh, this arrow, here we go. So then we can do calculated fields to get our total, um, yeah, our total spend. So we can do, this is gonna let me do it. FB plus Google plus XYZ equals total spend, right? So inside of Looker Studio, that would actually just be sum and it would be, then you'd have your FB spend with your Google XYZ. And that's what the formula would look like as you create a, another field. Okay, we're, we're struggling with the arrows, but here we go. Okay, so then we have our total spend. So this gives us our total spend, and then we need to calculate the marketing efficiency, which is going to be another calculated field. And this one is going to take the revenue divided by our new total spend field total spend. So it's, you know, in, in Looker Studio's world, it's going to have to do this calculation first before it can do this calculation. Um, but this will then give us our marketing efficiency ratio. So that is, you know, 
some of the strategy pieces, like how we'd actually do this. One other thing, like, I guess you don't actually have to do these pieces inside of Looker Studio. You can if you want, but if you're in BigQuery already, then you could just take your output table and do the do that query inside of BigQuery itself. So you could just do safe add or safe multiply or uh, yeah, safe add or safe sum, I forget what it's called, uh, to do that. And then you do a safe divide. You use safe in BigQuery just in case there's like zeros or throws errors, uh, but you can add those fields directly into BigQuery, but then you just connect that output table to your Looker Studio report to get something like this. So that is how we like we go about strategizing how to get MER into reports for our clients. So they have that high level metric. Everyone says, you know, three is kind of the gold standard for your marketing efficiency. As long as you're for every $1 spent, you're getting $3 back. That usually offsets the cost of your acquisition in term and the uh, cost of goods sold and everything so that you're still profitable. However, that can change, right? Three is not the, <laughs> the number that you know you have to go by, you could have a marketing efficiency of five, but still be unprofitable based on the cost of your goods. Um, other, you know, at the end of the day, your net revenue is gonna be affected by other expenses and things that you have. But here is kind of some strategy around MER, getting that into Looker Studio. Let me know if you like this and if you want what you wanna see next.